on SLS, I'm Vince Cheetah Swole Nerd, and today I'm going to tell y'all about what I do personally when it comes to split changes. So what do I mean by changing my split? People do it different ways. To me, I'm talking about strictly just the routine of it. Like my split is chest and tries, back and by, shoulder traps, and so forth. I don't mean like doing shoulders first or back first or any of that first. I'm talking about strictly just the routine of it. The routine, I personally start with incline first because I'm trying to build my upper chest and then I do flat bench after that. Not flat bench, um, I do dumbbells. Dumbbell incline and then dumbbell flat. For me to change my split, instead of doing incline first on everything I do, I do flat first on everything. So let me just walk you through it. Chest day would be incline, dumbbell press, flat dumbbell press, then say hammer incline, hammer chest press, and throwing some cables high and cables low. So to change that up, I would do flat first, which is dumbbell flat bench, then incline, hammer chest press, hammer incline, and then the cables, cables high and then cables low. An example on back day. Right now I'm doing all my pulling movements first. So I'm doing like my lat pull downs, my, uh, my close grip pull downs, some D-bar pull downs, anything involving pulling, um, some machine pull downs as well, either pull ups and stuff like that. And then I would go into my rowing movements, which is like seated rows, T-bar rows, um, machine rows. Now I switched it up to do all my rowing versus my pulling. So now I'm starting with, say, seated rows and then getting, all, getting that out all out the way, then going to the pulling movements. An example for shoulder day. Right now I'm doing all my pressing movements. I start with dumbbell shoulder press. No, I take that back. I start with, with um, barbell shoulder press. And then I go to dumbbell shoulder press. A lot of people are going to say that's kind of excessive. My delts are one of my strongest points. So I do all my pressing movements first. I haven't switched it up yet. The main reason, I mean, I, I like this routine. I like the way my delts are looking. I don't feel no real reason to switch it up yet. So I keep that part the same. But the only thing I'll switch on, on my shoulder day split is probably more sets and more reps. Um, maybe a new exercise or two. But that's about it. I know a lot of people that will do the raises first and then they'll go into the pressing movements. But like I said, I like doing all my pressing first. Now a leg day example. If you're doing quads first, switch it up with hams. If you're doing hams first, go to quads. Right now I've been focusing on my hams a lot. Um, my quads, they're decently okay. My hams, they've been lacking a whole bunch. So that's why I switched up to do my hams first. I'm doing about 10 sets on my hams. Still four, four to five sets on my quads. Now that brings us back to the first question. How often should you change it? You have a lot of people saying eight weeks. You, that's two months right there. So you want to do two months doing the same routine week after week. Personally, this is what I do. I go a little bit longer. I aim for about 12 weeks. So I'm doing 12 weeks pulling, 12 weeks rowing instead on, on back day. So that's just a few examples on how to switch up your routine a little bit. Like I said, I personally do every 12 weeks. Some people may do every eight weeks. Some may even do every four. Find out what you like best. Try it out for 12 weeks and then switch it up. See if you like that instead. But that's been my opinion on how, how often you should change splits. I'm Vince Jesus Swole Nerd, keeping it real and keeping it chill.